There is an animal shelter located in the southern tier that is back operating once again, thanks to a group of what you would call mechanic-friendly fans. Now, the Pet Connections van is a lifeline for many animals and for this business. But the animal shelter has been struggling since the beginning of the pandemic because its much-needed mode of transportation was in need of repair. Well, this is where Happy at Mobile Home Grooming steps into the story. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ala Araby shows us another way that Western New Yorkers are embracing the Buffalo Strong spirit right now. Uh, we're, we're pet people to begin with, so it was easy to make the connection with Julie. They helped us because they were animal people. They just uh, wanted to help and put back into the community. Two animal lovers brought together by one van. The van that Pet Connection uses to transport animals, pick up donations and pallets of food for cats and dogs. They rely heavily on this van and didn't know what to do when the transmission was having issues. Transmission started slipping um, and got worse and worse. and. I knew it was going to be a very expensive item, so reaching out to Pat at Continental Transmission, he offered to do it for nothing. Through a friend's significant other who works at Continental Transmissions, Julie Garvey reached out to Patrick Glenn, who co-owns the shop. I said, perfect, just send her in and, and we'll take care of the vehicle for her. Um, so we put a new transmission in her vehicle that got her up and running so she can continue on with the, the quality work she's doing in, in her community. Garvey uses the van to get food and other necessities for these cats. Like Mr. Farrell, who cares for the kittens that come in and prefers being vacuumed <laughs> than getting a bath. In all honesty, we didn't know of Pet Connection before uh, they needed our help. But Glenn says after hearing about all Garvey does for her community, it was a no-brainer. The shelter still needs help as the pandemic continues. Garvey says their floors need to be epoxied and they need donations for the cat's medical needs. Pet Connection Programs has also started a GoFundMe page to help them get through the winter months so they can continue rescuing cats and dogs in need. In East Aurora, I'm Ala Araby, 7 Eyewitness News.